It certainly has been feeling like summer, but winter is on the way and NOAA has officially put out their winter outlook for the 2024-2025 season and it's calling for a weak La Nina. What does that mean? Well, a La Nina takes place in the Pacific Ocean. Normally we have trade winds blowing from east to west along the equator, but for a La Nina, the trade winds are stronger, pushing even more sea surface water to the west. And all that warmer water will be far to the west, causing upwelling, which is some colder water from underneath bubbling up in the eastern Pacific. And what that does to our jet stream or the roadway for our weather systems is it shoves it to the north and it combines our Pacific jet and polar jet together. With the jet stream being further north, this is the path that our weather systems follow. This means wetter and cooler weather for the northern half of the country and the Ohio Valley, drier and warmer further south. But that doesn't always correlate with what we see here in the northeast. Our weather is a lot more variable. And also something to mention is the La Nina that is mentioned for this season is going to be very weak. Right now, we're at neutral and only expecting a weak La Nina, a big contrast to what we saw last year, a very strong El Nino, the second strongest we've ever had compared to the strongest that was back in 2015-2016. So what is NOAA calling for for their winter outlook? Near to slightly above precipitation for the Northeast, temperatures will be slightly above average, or at least that's what they're calling for. Again, we have lots of variability in the weather here in central New York from micro scale weather systems such as lake effect snow and also big temperature changes from nor'easters that roll through. And we'll continue to update you as we get closer to winter on the forecast. Reporting on the Weather Deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber.